All right. So this is a sample file in which we could edit in order to turn it into a config file. So the first thing we should do is go to File, Save As, and then save it under the same place, but now call this just uh, wp-config.php. Hit Save. Perfect. Now we can start changing the um, information to get our database to work. Now remember um, some of the uh, information I told you to jot down. So here, see here the database name, you should put that in here. So plunk that in your database name. Actually copy and pasting would work better, wouldn't it? So just take the database name, copy, paste it. User name, copy it, paste it. And then obviously put your password in here, whatever that you don't want anybody else to know. Oops. Good. Okay, now here is the steps where it will differ based on uh, what your uh, host server is. So if you are on um, a local server uh, for Max, the AMP, uh, MAMP, what you need to put here for the Apache server is again localhost colon 8888, okay? Actually, no, 8889, because this is for da the database, the My uh, MySQL hostname database, okay? For a Windows machine, if you're using uh, WinAmp, it's simply localhost without the colon, the port number. And then if you are doing this through a remote server, then it's whatever location your um, host provides you. Tell, host provider tells you to enter for your location of your MySQL database, okay? And now the second part, you, it's probably a good idea, is for you to put in authentication unique keys. So this is essentially to increase security to your WordPress site. So what you can do is just go here, see this link, just copy that, copy, and then go into uh, your browser, plunk that in. And then this site will automatically generate um, a bunch of keys for you. All you need to do is copy it, all of that, copy. And then go to your file. And then take out everything that was here before, the define, blah, blah, blah. Take it out. And then paste what you have in there. Okay, now you're done. Just hit save. Actually, um, if you want to change the table prefixes from WP to something else to increase security, it's probably a good idea. So if you like, you can change this to um, WP something, okay? And then just hit save. So this is the table prefixes used for the database for uh, storing information onto the uh, MySQL database for WordPress. So this is, again, another thing you could do, extra step you can do to protect your databases from hacker attacks. Okay, so after that save, you could go back to your WordPress page where it originally gave you an error. Uh, refresh the page. Oopsie, I messed up. And it should technically let you in. So I probably done something, I typed something in wrong. So let me just fix it. Okay, sorry about that. I got things fixed up. I just um, mistyped something. So, right. So if you've typed everything up correctly and you hit the refresh button, this is a page that should greet you. This is the so-called um, WordPress famous five minutes installation process. Um, greeting page. So what you need to do is just type in your blog title. So in this case, I am going to call this HTML2 WordPress and then enter in your email address. So Okay, and then there's also an option for you to um, have your blog be um, references by uh, search engines and for this like local installation, I'm just going to click that off, but you can turn it back on if you wish and then hit install WordPress. And it would give you this message, success, WordPress has been installed. Okay, so now what you need to do is to uh, copy this password down. Make sure you don't use this for now, okay? Just make sure this is copied and it's admin. Click on login. So 
type in admin and then paste your password down and hit login right and you are in so now we could go and take a look at what your website looks like so I'm just gonna open it into a new tab and voila WordPress is installed and this concludes the end of uh, this tutorial